welcome to a night of total terror. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. You must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotion. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all time. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. First came the night, then came the dawn. Now comes the most eagerly awaited day in horror film history. Welcome back to Thursday of the Dead, episode 259. My name is Chase. Today's episode is featuring the 4K release from Indicator for Bruiser, a lesser known George Romero movie, horror movie. Um, It's a movie that I like. Of course, I like most of George's stuff. And I know that there was some issue with getting this released in the States. And so Indicator is not a U.S. company, which is why I think they were able to do this and then release the 4K, which, of course, then is region free. Uh, Unlike Dawn the Dead, Creepshow, Day of the Dead, all these, you know, the ones that uh, Richard Rubenstein has his claws into, uh, Bruiser was something that Romero produced after he left Laurel. And it's a film that I know that he liked a lot. And I like it too. Uh, so it's nice to have a 4K edition of this. You know, the audio visual looks better than it's ever looked. And it's a nice set too, after I can actually get this thing open. Nice cover. nice slip cover too once I take and it includes a nice color book that goes with it I like when these releases include these extras like this like Dawn of the Dead and I think Martin has a good book or art cards I always like just the extras they include in there I don't know if I actually will go back to the book much you know I kind of glanced through it when I first got it possibly But it's a great addition to my collection, especially my George Romero collection. And here's what the packaging looks like. Lots of extras on this one. I like that picture of George on the back. Good quality book. to this as efficiently as I can. So I think Lionsgate owned the rights to this and was just sitting on it for a while because they didn't think there was a market for it, or who knows. packaging again. Nice 
nice rigid box. Appreciate that. George I like. There you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next week.